Okay. Hello, welcome to Business Notes. I'm your host, Diane Bogino. We're coming to you from Scalini's on Cobb Parkway. <laughs> Our guest tonight is Heather Lutze from Greenwood Village, Colorado. Heather is a nationally recognized internet marketing speaker, trainer, and consultant in search engine marketing, including SEO, paid search, and social media marketing findability. Heather Lutze's speaking engagements are conducted in the same irreverent style of her book, The Findability Formula. The easy, non-technical approach to search engine marketing published by John Wiley and Sons, delivering equal parts good information and good entertainment to audiences nationwide. Heather, thank you for being with us tonight. Oh, it's my pleasure. Heather, why is findability on the internet so important to businesses? Well, I think a lot of people scratch their head. You know, I have this gorgeous, amazing website. I spent a lot of money on it. Why am I not getting results? And the next big part of that conversation is, well, are you findable? Are you findable under keywords or keyword phrases that people look for on a search engine when they're ready to, to engage your services? And that's usually a portion that people forget about. They worry about the look and feel, you know, the fancy music in the background, the, the, the demo video on the front or whatever they have going on. And they don't really, they're not mindful of the search audience that needs to find it. And that's really what, what I train all across the country is about. How do you really access that findability, that, that slice, that sweet spot of searches just for your own business? I never heard it put that way. Very good. Uh, so why is a search important now more than ever for business um, and that are looking for effective marketing tactics? Well, I think search is something that people have put off for a long time. They felt like it was too geeky. Um, it was too expensive. Uh, or maybe they just didn't get it or want, they didn't want to bother. And I think now with the economy has made a lot of businesses stand up uh, and maybe stop doing radio or print and start looking at long-term findability they don't have to pay for. And uh, that's really, so you're talking about editing your website so that you can access searches for the exact keyword phrases that you want to be found. So like it or not, Google, Google gets to decide who goes on that front page. And so the credibility is really assigned by Google. So whoever has the most amount of representation under, let's say, um, televisions repair Atlanta, and you repair Sony televisions, uh, and if I type in Sony television repair Buckhead, I, I'm going to hire whoever comes up on that search result page. Well, as a television, if I own a television business, that may not be my forte. I may not want to really get that, or you know, that may be not something that I really understand. So my whole soapbox is to empower business owners to try it, you know, get their arms around it, and, and it can really be so much more, not only trackable from a return on investment standpoint, but it just makes more sense to how a younger generation of searchers, tw 30s, 20s, are looking to interact with businesses in a way that's not really germane to how we think maybe old school marketing would have been, like print and radio and newspaper. Those, are, those mediums are suffering for a reason. They're suffering because people choose to get their information in a different way. Uh, do you think that uh, most businesses, large and small, understand how to effectively use Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and other social media outlets? No. <laughs> In a word. Are we done now? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it's not that they don't want to. I think that they're a little intimidated by it. There's a lot of fear around it. Um, I'm in the process of writing a social media marketing book, and uh, we have a whole chapter on it called Fear Factor because it is very scary. Uh, we work with corporations who are scared of it, all the way down to mom and pops that are frightened of it. Uh, first of all, it's a lot of what we call personal exposure at the business level. Um, you're really having to open up a whole new level of personality in your business that would never be required of a Yellow Pages ad mm. or of a radio ad with a gorgeous voice announcer, right? I mean, that's, that's very much in your control. Mm -hmm. Social media, you have to open up a whole new side of yourself as a business, your, your personality of your employees, the personality of what you do every day in your own business. It's just very different, and I think there's a lot of fear around it. Do I really need to share that much? Do I want to share? Man, a lot of, of older, especially executives that are in their 50s, primarily, that we work with, they don't get it. They think that's for teenagers. They think that's something you do on the after hours. And so we spend a tremendous of time educating them about how you can access a real viable business community who are ready to buy by building relationships in social media. So it's really about relationship building, and then you get to take it to the next level once you've built the relationships. Why are keywords the most essential component of findability? Well, I think a lot of people just are totally out of touch with keywords. I mean, oftentimes we'll meet with, we just met with a big investment firm in Chicago, and I asked the chief executive officer, you know, what keyword do you think would be your very best? He's like, investing. 
we would like to be number one under investing. If we, if we had number one investing, we would rule the world, right? And the problem is, is that the businesses are at investing and the search community is at high yield bonds in Atlanta or high yield bond investment opportunity. So the, the searcher, you know, the, the business is over here and the search community is here and nine of the two shall meet. So being able to release your ego from those, I want to be number one out of that keyword and, and really being you know, in touch with search strings or search queries that are meaningful to a search author like me and getting in touch with that. And that's why keywords are just so, so very important for everything you do on the internet. We hear that content is more important than keywords today. Do you disagree with that? Well, the keyword is in the content. I mean, Google was originally in, invented to index term papers. So if you think about, it doesn't really work that much different now. So when it looks at your website, it sees every page in your website like a little individual term paper. And if you can make sure to have the keywords in that term paper, then Google's going to index the content, which is absolutely important, mm -hmm. and put you where you deserve to be on a search result page. Mm -hmm. But people don't think that way. They think that, you know, they, that they have a disconnection with their own content and how it needs to be found. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, content is absolutely key, but thinking of your website as individual term papers, and you don't have a term paper that's about everything. You have a term paper that's about individual topics. But, web, but business owners notoriously build sites that are about, well, we do this, and 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 they tell them all over their website, and Google's like, I'm confused. Where am I supposed to put you again? Just tell me what you're about. What's this one page about? And we don't really think that way. So content is incredibly important, but how you organize it is really what's the missing component. What are the marketing venues uh, do you think are essential to business today? Marketing venues on the internet? Mm -hmm. Oh uh, well, I definitely think having a really solid, findable website. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of my, a lot of customers that we're working with are converting their websites over to WordPress sites or blogs. So, like they, they operate as a big blog, mm -hmm. so that they're very relevant to Google, and Google keeps looking for content from it. Um, another big part of another venue would be, of course, to really consider adding social media. Um, doing your, you know, doing some research, maybe attending some conferences, but really trying to get your arms around Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn at a minimum, mm -hmm. the, and then using keywords in those portals because mm -hmm. Google will, will index those. Right. So if, you, if I use um, you know, Television Repair Atlanta in my tweets and I do that once or twice a day and I go to search.twitter.com and I type in Television Repair Atlanta, there you are. Mm -hmm. And that's a viable way of getting found. It's just different that when, than what most business owners, they don't think that way. But that's where their searchers are. Mm -hmm. So making that transition to social media and those kinds of venues, I think is, is a big leap of faith that a lot of businesses are going to have to take, especially over the next three to five years. And blogging, of course, is very important along with that, Absolutely. I would say. Well, that's all about the content, right? I always think of Google as a big, voracious baby. You know, you have to constantly feed it. And, but the baby doesn't want to keep eating peas every day. You have to keep giving it unique and original content. So if you don't change your website up, Google's already eaten that. But a blog is different posts and keeps feeding the baby in unique and different ways. And a lot of people don't think they need to blog because they have a website. But Google's been there, done that. What are you doing for it today? What have you fed it today? That's what blogging is about. If you're an expert in your field, you have something to say and you should say it on a regular basis. And Google expects experts will talk about themselves. Experts will link to experts. You have to be willing to engage at that level for Google to pay attention to you. And blogging is perfect for that. Heather, thank you so much for being with us and sharing your expertise oh, with our pleasure. viewers today. My pleasure. And thank you for joining us. This is Diane Bogino. Until next time on Business Notes.